The Borisk is just ridiculous, guys. This tank is so capable of carrying games. It's not even funny. One of the biggest threats in the end game, and you're going to see that on Paris here. I was playing a game on this map uh, probably about a week ago. It's been a little while, but I do remember this game quite well because it was just such an easy carry for me. Um, yet, I guess it looked like it was challenging, but it really wasn't. So even 90s appearing here, just kind of waiting for the silhouette. I know I can kind of shoot it through that. I'm expecting to be spotted here, so I kind of rushed the second shot. We weren't lit, um, and now we're just kind of holding here. I do run this tank with a lot of APCRs only because I feel like it's necessary and like if you hit both shots you still make a lot of credits with this tank so you just aim well right um, but I don't even think it's worth running that many EPs I'll switch over to these um, rather the regular APCRs if I know I can pen um, with these but I definitely can't pen with the HE or whatever I do run one clip of HE but I basically just run all APCRs because I feel like with this tank it's so powerful you're going to want them you're going to want almost all the gold shells just because it's going to make the, the tank much more powerful and you're going to be able to carry games better now on a tank where you have decent pen like that's the thing with with this tank is like the standards just don't have quite enough pen right you really want the apcrs there's other people that run tanks that have like ridiculously good pen on the standards like the 122 tm for instance i sh i fire most of the standard rounds um there's people that load full gold in those but like that's what i'm saying i think this this tank is going to benefit much more than other tanks um, by running full gold right so scorpions here gonna hit him once there he actually pulls back the wrong way we're able to hit him again um, and the burst damage on this tank is just incredible man 680 in the face like we could have loaded the he clip if we really wanted to but at that distance and just like you know you're trying to get a quick shot i'm not going to load it even 90s making a pass here i'm going to start pushing into the mid i think we're safe to do so just based on what i'm seeing on the map really only the skoda t27 was unlit at this point going to try and hit this even i'm waiting for the right shot um, luckily that one goes in a little bit of rng there i think helped us out for sure um, and now we're in a situation where we've lost the south and we've kind of won the north um, people are like spam clicking me like i don't get this man i don't get this you could literally be like doing so well and people like will spam click you like the tnh is like he died and this is what happened here he died right down here in a brawl where there were just more tanks and they got outplayed and it's like everyone's instinct i'm telling you everyone's instinct whenever they die and there ends up being more enemies on one side of the map than the other is they'll find like the closest person and they'll like they'll do this you know like what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck it's like dude relax man you know calm down i'm in full screen so it kind of messes up a little bit but it's like i never understood that man i never understood why people do that and you can see he even has xvm he's clicking on me he's drawing on the map he's like oh you what are you doing man what are you? like why bro tell me what i run down here to help to help these guys right now um they turn around there's four of them here man there's four of them plus the skoda that even 90 is also pressing in i would rather be defending the base man that's what i want to do i want to go and defend the base because i can see where these guys are on the map i would rather defend the base in this situation can i do that yeah but then you end up putting yourself in harm's way you get a lot closer than you need to be um and you you end up dying man you know because you can't run away in time these people will get you right if they'll hit you you lose too much hp so what i'm going to do is start defending the base hit the e4 here once hit the e4 here again and i'm going to hold this line from the base instead because i have the distance to do so right and it just drives me nuts when these people like think they're uh, like they're spam clicking you like it's going to make a difference you know like you're 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 going to listen to them or whatever like dude i get that you just died because you got outplayed here right and there were more players but that doesn't mean it's just it's 100 someone else's fault and you need to spam click them on the map like relax bro like just relax you know um and it, it just drives me nuts and i have to emphasize that in this video like if you're one of those players man um on either side right if you're the one being clicked just be calm man read the map understand what's going on and and try to the best of your ability to just play safely right because that's how i ended up winning this game now again is he wrong 
100%? No. Like, I could have made this play, but then I'm putting myself in more danger, right? So E4 is here. I knocked this tree perfectly because now when he comes around the corner, I can spot him, get that shot into him, and now we're outplaying the E4. But again, is this guy wrong completely? No. Like, I could certainly have joined the even 90 here and tried to flank, but then when these guys turn around to go defend their base, now I'm screwed, right? And like, this is the thing, you just have to understand corridor maps, man. I'm not perfect at it, but you have to understand that these guys can turn around and then they're showing their front plates, man. It's not like the game was many years ago, right? Um, tanks can turn so fast now, heavies can move fast, they put their armor in your face and like, you're effed, bro, you know? And I just don't understand why people don't, other people don't understand this. So I'd rather put myself in a scenario to carry the game, defend the base, and that's what we're doing here. We're getting good angles on people that are now pushing into my guys while they're holding on that base. I'm getting another angle here. And now I'm in a situation where I now know where these two heavies are. I'm just gonna press the E4. If I have to take a shot, I will take a shot, and I'm going to take a shot. Um, but I want to make sure this one goes in. So I'm going to run around him. I'm not going to rush the shot. I'm just going to take that shot from him. I could try to hit the lower plate there and then just use the second one to clean him up. Um, but that's what I decided to do. Take a hit here. And we're still at a decent amount of HP. I tell these guys, look, I'm on my way. Don't die. Especially the even 90. You know, I'm just like, don't die, man. Because I know you're going to be a threat. So we're going to fast forward. You know, we're going to fast forward here. I'm coming up. And now we're in a situation where this is like we have to start paying attention to what this 252u is going to do and stuff right so i'm going to try and come around the this side i'd rather come around this side of the banana um we call this the banana here and try and get a jump on this guy while the even still has good mobility he can go this way and we just want to come at different angles right um scorpion g also in the this guy, whatever, man, like, I'm not mad about this, but this guy's like, Borisk, like, I've been AFK the whole game, like, bro, I've done 3,400 damage, you know, question mark, like, what are you doing, you know, like, like, literally, like, I've been AFK or something, man, you know, it's just wild, man, like, it's just wild to chat in this game sometimes. So I'm going to focus this shot on the 252U's lower plate, going to hit him there for 408, and now we're at over 4k damage, and I'm telling the even, stay alive, don't die, I'm going to reload, I know this 25 U is going to press here. He kind of stops here. Even 90 is running away. He's being very smart about this. I'm making sure the 252U is not going to try and blind me here. I'm going to hit that shot into him. I know I'm very likely going to be lit here. And then I'm going to hold. I'm actually going to hold here for a minute. Because I want to I want to act like I'm going to poke him again, right? So once I go dark, then I'm going to move. And again, I tell the I tell the even 90. Don't die, man. Just don't die. Now I'm going to run all the way around. I'm going to use the mobility of the Boris. This is why this tank is so powerful. We're going to come all the way around here. We're going to come up right here. We're going to get the side plate of this guy. Make sure it pens because this armor can be kind of trollish. And we're going to carry this game and we're going to win the game for the team, man. Don't listen to the chat, guys. You know, again, every play has its benefits and drawbacks. In this situation, if I were to run down these corridors here, will I... Could I have maybe helped out a little bit sooner? Yes. But will I have paid the price for making that play? It's much more likely, yeah, that people would have turned their turrets and stuff, and I probably would have gotten hit for it. You have to know when you can get away with doing these things. And in this game now, it's very hard to flank. Like, if you have one or two tanks, yeah, but if there's a brawl going on, it's very easy for people to turn their turrets or one faster tank to just see that you're there. You know what I'm saying? And they'll come after you, right? Like, if I come down this way and get shots like this, you know, then they'll they'll come after me. I'm sorry, because I have this in full screen. But then they'll come after me, and then they have the angle, right? As I'm reloading, I'm now trying to run away like this, and they have the angle at my back, right? They might get two shots into me before I run away. So this is why you have to understand corridor maps, you know? It's not like you can just go to one corner of the map, right, and be completely fine. That's something you have to understand about this, right? So just understand that, guys. Like, on corridor maps like this, um, it says encoding overloaded. Okay, just make sure. I got to make sure I put this in window borderless. For some reason, I had it in full screen because I actually like to play in full screen. But usually, it, like, auto switches over when I record. But anyway, guys, five kills, 4786 damage. We didn't do any spotting. But I'm hoping you're understanding this. Again, I'm not a Unicom player, but I'm just trying to show you guys like i swear like average players like these 48 percent win rate players and whatever just think you can like run down a corridor shoot and like no one's ever going to contest you there you know how many times i've tried this 
to like try and flank heavies in this area and they just turn on you so fast um, and then because they're not immediately contested they can come to this corner now of, of this corridor and they'll hit you like twice before you're able even able to run away right so it's so much easier said than done if people um, die like if you are one of those players that dies over here and you see someone in the middle of the map stop spam clicking them man stop freaking out and trying to like you know act like you know everything about the game and spam click them and crap like that man it's so annoying and i just can't stand when people do that man i really i just i've played this game so much and i've gotten to the point where i cannot stand it when people spam click the map and stuff like that like just go into the next game man it is what it is you're playing with random players you know Again, like, I just explained to you why I think it's kind of a dumb play to try and run down these corridors. Now, if you had hard cover is somewhere, like, in part of the corridor, is it a little bit different? Yeah, because then you actually have some hard cover to kind of get away. But these are wide open corridors. So you got to take these shots and you got to run really fast. you got to run away, man. You know, I'm telling you, it's just, it's, it's so much trickier than you'd think to try and flank on Paris um, when you have a lot of tanks here. Now, again, if it's like one tank, like with this 252U, we outplayed this guy all day, man. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we get the win out of it. But I'm just trying to really emphasize this point in this video, at the end of this video, guys, like stop being one of these players that is just spam clicking everyone and being toxic, man. There's just no reason for it, even if they're making stupid plays, you know, where in this one, I'm telling you, it's better that I conserved my HP and played the way I played, in my opinion. But even if it wasn't, like, just get into the next game, man. You know how many times I've played games where I'm literally looking at, like, my teammates, like, they're bots, man. Like, I'm like, what is this person doing? They are, they are not supporting me at all here. They're not supporting the team at all here. Like... I know they can make this play um, play it better. I know they could do this better. But, like, these are just random players, man. You know? This isn't Call of Duty with your friends, guys. You're in random... You're in a random battle with people that probably just don't even care to be competitive. So, understand that. And, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and basically showcasing how freaking powerful the Borisk is. And I'll catch you for the next one. Take care until then. Bye-bye.